Hey guys, on the weekend, I took part in the Mix and Game Jam 2020 and a 5 devs 1 art pack challenge at the same time and built a game to cover both in 48 hours. Before I begin, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos on game development every week and sometimes more. Bound one. I was taking part in a 5 devs 1 art pack challenge with Xanderwood, Merlin Media and Jerome Clock. The art pack we used was the Kenny RPG Urban Pack and the challenge was to build a game in 72 hours. I had some crazy ideas for a game but couldn't put my finger on what exactly I wanted to make so I looked around for inspiration. In my search I found out that the mix and game jam was also starting that day at 6 o'clock and I couldn't actually start working on the game before 6 anyway due to work so I thought why not. The theme for the jam was mixing genres and at that point my main idea was making a GTA 1 style crazy taxi game based on the art pack. I already dropped my development time from 72 hours to 48 hours so I couldn't waste any more time so I got started. The most important part of any driving game is how the car controls and making the experience as enjoyable as possible before building the world. I spent the next 12 hours looking up tutorials and playing around with different car mechanics and variables to find the right balance for the style of game I was trying to make. Round two, eight. At this point I'm at 3 cups of coffee, 1 cup of tea, an energy drink and 0 hours of sleep so I got started with the city map. I'll be honest I hated using tile maps. I ended up painting tiles on the wrong layers and had to redo the map like 3 times. I'm now 24 hours in and had plans to include AI cars that drove around the city and AI people that would walk around and randomly call for a taxi. I was running low on time so I scrapped the AI cars and people idea and got to work on getting interactable people into the game that would serve as the objective of the game. I wasn't too sure how I wanted the pick up and drop off system to work but after doing some pretty dangerous driving in the game I accidentally ran into the people and they went flying like footballs. Instantly my mind went to Rocket League and I had my second genre. So now my game would be a GTA 1 style crazy taxi game with hints of Rocket League. I wanted to make the experience a little easier for the player so I set up a few different destinations on the map just so you didn't have to dribble the passengers too far. I also put each of the passengers in a ball suit because you know I need to keep it PG-13 and make sure the dribbling mechanic was fun but not too easy. I got everything working and you can now dribble the people to the goals but I also wanted to add something else since my plans for adding in the AI cars were scrapped. So I thought why not make most of the city destructible, that way the debris could get in the way and make it an even greater challenge or if you enjoy destroying stuff that's now an option in the game. Round three, eight. I'm now at 6 cups of coffee, 3 cups of tea, 2 energy drinks and still 0 hours of sleep but at least all the mechanics are now working. I only have 12 hours left and there was no timer or objective to complete in the game. I picked the most crazy font I could find and added a countdown that increased by 10 seconds every time the passenger reached the goal. I also added a money indicator and goal indicator showing what had been earned and what needed to be earned to complete the game. I added in damage costs for each of the destructible objects so that any damaged objects could be deductible from the total earnings making it harder for the player to win. I literally had 2 hours left to sort out the menu, sound effects, music and set up an itch page and upload the game. Ok menus aren't that important and I can do without the music but I desperately needed sound effects to make playing the game a fun experience. I had literal minutes to find a music track that would suit the game and set up a basic menu. I set up a blank itch page and uploaded the game just in time. I found out later that we got an extra hour to set up the itch page and upload the game so I made the site more presentable in the end. Total caffeine count at the end of the jam was 8 cups of coffee, 4 cups of tea, 3 energy drink and still 0 hours of sleep. This is Taxi Rampage, basically you drive around the map looking for passengers and pushing them to the designated goals on the map. The goal to win is to earn 1000 coin, you'll get 50 per passenger and sometimes 100 based on RNG. In easy mode the city objects just get in the way and don't impact your earnings, however in hard mode each object you crash into will deduct the repair cost for that object from your earnings making it a lot harder to reach the goal. I hope you liked this devlog, I had many sleepless nights making this game so please check it out and let me know what you think. Final round eight. Now I'm going to be playing the games that the other devs made in the 72 hours. 
I'm going to start with Drag Race Taxi by Xanderwood. Add to play. Watch the power meter. The speed of your taxi is based on the power meter. Click on the taxi to make it go. Oh, simple enough. Stop. Yeah, looks good. Music's good. Let's see. Ooh. Almost first try. Try that again. Bit more power. Oh, a bit too much power, I think. Yep. Attempt free. Yeah, I think I got it that time. Oh, nice driving. Did I make it first time? Nope, not quite. Give it another go. Strong winds. Ooh, was that too heavy? That was too much power. That I crushed. Is this good enough? Oh, there's not enough power. It's a bit more windy, so a bit more power. Can I make it? Yeah, I made it. Cool. Attempt six, level three. Oh, went a bit too light there. A bit more power in the next one. Still light. A lot more power in the next one. Well, that might be too much. Oh, actually, it's still not enough. Let's just go full whack. There. Oh, wow. Ooh, I might have made it. Yeah, I made it. Cool. Yeah, nice map. Level four. Let's go. Change in music, change in pace. Ooh, is this the first try? Yep, on the first try. Next level. We got some water levels as well. Bit more power. Cross the bridge. Not quite. Oh, it's strong winds. Still not make it. Surely that should make it. Uh, just short. Okay, full whack again. Almost full whack. Will I make it? Yeah, I made it. Ooh, a bit aggressive on that one. Ooh, a bit light on that one.
I'll see how far I can get in 20 attempts. Oh, just... Did I do that? Yeah, just about. Oh, changing music again. Just short on that one. Full whack. Oh, will he crash? Did he make it? Or did he crash? Ah, made it. that one as well. Maybe <laughs> pitchy stage. What's that? Last three levels? Try and do it, I've got three attempts, so... Two levels, two attempts. Oh, that was that too aggressive? Ooh, did I get this? Still got two attempts. I think this is the last level. Oh, there, I run over the guy. Okay, last attempt on the last level. <laughs> okay. I didn't I didn't do it in twenty attempts. having no luck here. I'm gonna end up embarrassing myself here. Cool. 23 attempts. Well done, you have some serious skill. Cool. Yeah. Nice game, looks nice, music's good. Mechanics are good, polish is really good, yeah, good stuff. I'm going to be playing Sigun or Saigon by Jerome O'Clock. Okay, move around. Hey you. The objects have taken the city and have possessed the humans. It is dangerous to go alone. Take me. Whoops. You didn't let me finish what I had to say. You'll see. Each time you shoot, mouse left click, I will take one of your hearts. Because of that, you must never use your last heart, or that bullet will cost you your life. The good news is that if one of my bullets hits an enemy, I will return you one heart. If the enemy is blue and you kill it, I will return you two hearts. Oh! Yeah, it looks really nice. I really like this. Flipping of the sprite. Cool, so it's like a top-down shooter, but I have to be careful with my bullets. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
That was a bit, that was a bit quick. Right, again. Looks good, music's good. I, I like the camera shape when you shoot or, or when you get hit. Ooh. Ooh, uh, okay. All right, give it another go. It got a bit hectic there. I have to be less worried about my hearts and more worried about the enemies. I just need to be as accurate as I can. I mean, there is wiggle room to dodge the bullets, just need to keep my distance. Oh, okay, not like that. Okay. One more try? Last try? I wonder if there's a map. Is there a map? Oh, oh, what, oh what's going on there? Is that a dash button? I'm doing all right. Oh, this part again. Oh, I died. Okay, last try. Oh, okay. Base. I need to get better at dodging the bullets and being more accurate with my shots. I just need to play it defensively. Okay, this part again. Creep it slowly. Someone coming? No? Oh, am I dead? No, oh, I'm dead. Okay. Really like this game. Really like the mechanic, the art, the music. It's a bit hard, but I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, I'll be able to finish this game off off cam oh, it looks like I'm having one more go oh, okay I went a bit aggressive there Oh, yeah, really nice game. Um, good stuff. Now I'm going to be playing Leaving Brandonville by Marlin Media. Welcome to Brandonville. Wait, why are you trying to leave so soon? Well, the only way you're going to get out of town is by finding the taxi. Good luck out there. WSD to move. Once you press a direction, you will walk until you hit an obstacle. F for full screen. E, enter, space, or click to play. Cool. Full screen. Cool. Yeah, like the music. Oh, okay. Guess I'm going up. Okay, I'm back down again. 
Yeah, I'm in a forest. Okay, back in the forest again. Did I not come? I already went this way. Or am I stuck? I'm stuck. Okay, I'm in the same place again. Am I going, going the wrong way? I keep falling in the same trap. You know what? Go up. Right. Okay. All right. I'm out of the forest. I'm, I'm back in the forest. And I'm out the forest again. Okay, finally, I'm done with the forest. Cool. Little market. I'm in a mini forest. And I think we are done. Yeah. Map's really good. Puzzle's really good. Uh, music's really good. Mechanics are good. Well done. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Cheers guys, and I'll catch you in the next devlog.